Hercules. Hercules. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the yard and show you guys some things that I noticed. Over here, the people that lived in this house before me had taken all these tires along the front and planted vegetables and stuff in these things. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks like a squash plant that come back from when they were living here. So this is nowhere near the hose. So I kept me a little jug of water here that I've been just putting water down here for this plant every now and then because he wanted to live. So now we're going to walk around the backyard here and I'm going to show you. You guys can see how deserty my soil is. But we've had so much rain this spring that we've got flowers all over this yard and I wanted to show you guys some of these flowers. Let me try to get out of the shade. And those are like little tiny little clusters and they look kind of like daisies. I don't know what they are. And then we've got these things here. And they're little clusters of yellow flowers. And those are kind of sparsely scattered around. And then we got this thing doing its thing. I don't know what this thing is, but it sure looks cool. All of those little fuzzy yellow, they're not like flowers. Let's see if I can get it to focus on one. I don't have the best camera. But when you look at this bush thing overall, it's really cool looking. Okay, now we're coming into the backyard where there's a whole bunch of mess. But here's what I've been working on. Out the back door. Don't mind the mop. I started building this little chicken coop area. Out of pieces and parts of stuff that I had around here. So we're currently still building it. But I uh, took this old cabinet... And I'm going to have to get that other door put back on here. And once I get that other door put on here, I'm going to put a latch from here over. But I got these two shelves, and I put a little divider board in there and a place for them to come in. So, yeah, it's a really big nest box, but it's what I had, so that's what I'm using. And then coming over here, show you the inside. We're working on getting this styrofoam, putting that back wall there. But over here, we filled these walls, these side walls, with styrofoam and then put the boxes to prevent the chickens from getting to the styrofoam and then the chicken wire over top. So we're going to do that and then we're going to do the roof here, putting metal tin on the roof and we're going to put styrofoam in it. So, and then this will be another nesting box here. I'm hoping to have a broody hen over there on the seat. That's where I sit and watch my chickens. So eventually once I get this area done we'll start doing videos back here with me sitting with the chickens. But today's video is about flowers. All of the flowers here on my little homestead. These are little tiny tiny purple but they're so pretty.
Now here, we have these things called goat heads. They hurt really bad when you walk on them. So here around my garden area, I put all sorts of carpet to keep from having the goat heads growing. I'll show you some of the things that I have growing. I got some tomatoes growing there and a broccoli that was, I don't remember planting it, but it seems to be coming up there. And then over here, this is my little protected area here. These are my peas and it's kind of clustered in here amongst all this stuff, but it's got some lettuce and some beans. Now that bean right there is sprouted in a starter that I had lettuce in. So I decided, well, we'll just plant that bean over here. And then there's a little tomato that uh, hopefully will bush up and I can have it climb up top of here. Sorry, I have sheets and stuff I put over when it gets too hot during the day for the plants because we're so hot here sometimes and the sun is so intense that I'll cover this whole shelf thing with a, an old sheet just to give it more shade so they don't get burnt. And then over in the greenhouse, I've got some things doing all sorts of stuff over here. This is one of my salad bowls. You got cucumber, broccoli, lettuce scattered all over, a tomato. These are all my starters that I haven't planted. Not sure if I want to. What happened with this here is the um, seed box spilt and there was seeds everywhere. And so me and the kids just planted all the random seeds, not really knowing what they were, so they kind of come up randomly. There's another tomato with some more lettuce. Another tomato over here. And I think that's broccoli. And then those are a couple of herbs. Got a nice big plant down here. Going crazy along with an onion. A couple of oak trees back there. Someday I'm going to plant those. Just don't know what yet. Got a tiny baby tomato there. And then I want to take you show you these morning glories. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I think they're morning glories. I'm not positive. Because I truly don't know my plants. But they vine out all over. And they only grow here in this dirt that was delivered when the trailer was put on. All of the dirt that's natural to the area doesn't have flowers. <laughs> but they're just really pretty the way they grow. They get real long and spread around. A couple more plants to show you still. This is where all the water runs from down the driveway runs all the way down here. So all the way down here, we've got these plant flowers growing. So I'm guessing they need more water because they're only down here where the water pools up. Aren't those amazing? Those are so pretty. And there's my dash. Oh, are you a good boy? Yeah? Okay. And then one more flower over here that I want to show you is this also down here in the waterway where the water pools up is this amazing purple flower. And my hopes are with all these flowers that we're having that when my tomatoes start flowering that the bugs will be used to coming over here and they'll actually pollinate. And I wanted to share those with you because to me, those are beautiful. And uh, I don't know if you remember, but I told you I got this house from a hoarder just to kind of show you. This is after two years of working on cleaning all this stuff up. This is still an area I have yet to touch very much. But oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff on this property. It's overwhelming sometimes. I haven't barely touched back here though. 
but the whole front yard and the whole side yards they all used to look like this so awful craziness with stuff here sometimes and then ants we get lots and lots of ants Well, I want to end on a positive note, so I'm going to take you back up over here to these gorgeous flowers here. I know it's an outside one today, guys. Thank you so much for coming along, though, and next video I'll do here real soon to show you the babies. Thanks. Bye-bye. See you later, heroes.